group of local Christians and street pastors nearly three years ago. The clearing is a community hub providing a meeting space. One of their aims was to reach out to people who were feeling isolated or had problems within their lives and needed someone to talk to. However, the lockdown in March meant that the clearing had to rethink how it would serve the, the local community. Wilmer and Lorraine explain how their roles have changed. Two and a half years ago, we started a Christian group on the high street uh, to give practical help, support for those with mental health issues and spiritual encouragement. Uh, however, during the lockdown, we had to close uh, and manage to keep in contact with people either on Zoom or on the telephone or by doorstep visits, uh, bringing hope to those in despair and practical help to those in need. Now, with the easing of the lockdown, we are gradually reopening uh, the knitting groups, uh, the sewing groups, uh, the prayer and hope corner as well, and uh, gradually re-establishing our links in the community. As a street pastor, during the lockdown, I delivered food parcels to our needy families. I also distributed the face masks that the ladies in the clearing made. Uh, obviously, during the lockdown, we couldn't do street pastor patrols because of the social distancing requirements. And also, the public, public houses were closed. So during the lockdown, I did telephone patrols. So I had a list of people that I would phone, check they were okay, chat with them, check if they needed any help. Some of the street pastors would go on Sundays and sing to the residents of the care home at Lindsay House to cheer their day, which brought joy to all those involved. Sharon, one of the members of the clearing, decided to help raise funds for projects organised by the clearing and decided to do a 26-hour sponsored knit in April. She eventually did 28 hours in total and knitted hats for the premature baby unit in Kokodi. Sharon raised £400 and with part of this money, the clearing decided to make face masks organised by Lynette. Hi. Over the um, lockdown, I spent most of my time um, with the money that was raised by the, the girls to make face masks, which I've got a wee sample of them here, which we have given away free in the local community. I've made over 1,600 masks. With some of the money raised, the clearing were able to provide food parcels which were given to members of the local community. As restrictions begin to ease, the clearing continues to serve the local community by holding pop-up shops, providing parents with free school uniforms and counselling sessions for those in need. The clearing looks forward and adapts to the changing situation of the times. By still being there for the local community, whether it's by holding meetings on Zoom, they encourage people to look forward in life and help them by focusing them on the things that they can do and set daily goals for themselves as they continue to progress in life. The clearing has helped many people who otherwise would have felt isolated and suffered not only during the lockdown but in life in general. Mm -hmm.